Hi there, welcome to today's spring clean and decorate. I am Alexandra Beter and I am so excited for this video. I'm so excited for spring, a change of scenery. I'm doing something a little bit different with my spring cleaning and decorating this year, so I am gonna tell you all about it. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it so much and let's dive right in. So many of you know the drill. Before I get into it, I always like to make myself a little pick-me-up. Lately, I have been taking Bloom. Thank you, Bloom, for sponsoring this video. I've been enjoying this daily to support my gut health, relieve bloat, for more energy. You guys know in 2024, I am serious about taking better care of myself, and this just makes it very easy. 30-plus ingredients in a single scoop. Prebiotics, probiotics, digestive enzymes, fruit and veggies. It also comes in six flavors, so I'll link it below. The first product Project we're gonna tackle is this outdoor area and guys we're gonna go inside outside back again I'm gonna mix it up do some cleaning do some decorating that is just how my mind works I have not been sitting outside and I want to I want to so bad but first I want to make sure it's very very clean so I just have a little bit of warm water on a microfiber towel I'm wiping down the cushions taking them off making sure everything is perfect and I wanted to show you the new pillow so how pretty are those the striped ones I bought last year but they have faded like crazy they don't even look like the same pillow so figured it was time for some new ones and I'm just gonna work my way around this outdoor area make sure everything is nice and clean and then later on we're gonna come out here again and work on it more but we're gonna start with wiping it all down this is in a covered area so I haven't had to wash it yet I literally have just like flipped it and it still looks brand new but gosh like nothing is more springtime to me than having outdoor furniture ready getting new pillows if you need them maybe a new outdoor area rug if you have the space for it it just gets me so excited for what's to come in the warmest weather months And this is Florida living for you. I saw what I thought was a dead lizard. I think people in Florida actually call them geckos, but we call them lizards. We don't know what we're talking about. It was alive. It scared me. I needed Chad's help. So I took a break from outside after that. We'll go back in a little bit. Right now, I'm just going to get these things off the counters really quickly so we can start to do an early spring simple arrangement on the island. And look at this cleaning cloth. I'm obsessed with these. There are five different prints and they will be available on housetohomedecor.com next month, which is my new store I'm launching. I love these cleaning cloths. I use them literally constantly on everything and they're so beautiful the colors the patterns oh i'm so excited for you guys to see them first though i'm just gonna wipe down the counter here wipe down everything on it i still am going to use this tray this island is on the larger side and any smaller of a tray just doesn't look right and this beautiful white ginger jar will be on house to next month as well several um, items and products you see around my house will be on there so i just wanted to do something very simple the faux um hydrangeas and then a bowl of fresh lemons and I am going to wipe down the rest of the kitchen and then add another lamp on this counter. If you guys have been watching the last few videos, you know, I had to move the last lamp because we put those shelves in so it just wouldn't fit anymore. But I have a different one we're going to try out and I want to know what you guys think about it. So we're gonna try some new decor over here while I tell you guys what I'm doing different for spring cleaning and decorating that I didn't do in previous years. And I'm gonna add a new lamp in this area. The one I had before, it doesn't fit anymore with those new shelves we added on the side of the cabinets, which I am beyond obsessed with. And I just love the trend of having a lamp on your kitchen counter because it's so cozy, it's so homey. It's, just, it's like a nice small, you know, small nightlight at night, and I think it adds so much decorative interest. I highly recommend you try this if you have the space for it. So for spring cleaning and decorating in 2024, I just want to make it like a little more realistic and attainable for myself. I love the extreme clean videos, extreme clean and decorate. Don't get me wrong, I've done a million of them, but this year, I don't know, I just want to do 
things more often so that it still adds up and packs a punch over time but it's not so exhausting if that's if that's what makes sense so since this is my first spring clean and decorate i'm just getting the ball rolling showing you this is going to be available on house to home decor next month i'm obsessed with that it can be used for so many different things and for this first video i really just want to like refresh and start to introduce new colors pinks and yellows um and of course i'm gonna have the white and blue forever but just a little more variety of color for spring and then as we get into the next few months i'm just gonna keep adding and adding and really packing a punch and making the colors pop even more so i hope that makes sense for you guys and also as far as the cleaning goes just like breaking things down so whenever i clean the stove in regular cleaning videos i never really scrub um gosh what do you call this the grates and then these things look at that you guys it's supposed to be gold so we're gonna soak these today we're gonna scrub them i'm trying a new technique it ends up working great i cannot wait to share it with you but yeah i just want to share a lot of tips and tricks and ideas for spring cleaning and ways to break it down and make it way more manageable than I've been able to share in past years and I'm also going to start adding some color into the living room now while those grates soak um, in the sink in the kitchen so first things first we're going to fluff the couch and then we're going to add in these beautiful pillows I got these last year from home goods and I just I seriously feel like it's so much brighter in the living room with just these pillows in it i know that doesn't make sense but girl in person it totally feels like it i'm going to add a tray and a jar that will be on house to home decor next month and then this beautiful arrangement i've had this for a while too and i just thought it fit perfectly with the pillows like this little setup on the coffee table is the same colors that are on the couch and it just it brings them together it brings me joy and it definitely has that early spring feel so now i'm just gonna fluff the pillows on the chairs i'm gonna put this blanket away add another one on the arm of the couch and it's simple it's refreshing and it definitely starts to bring in those spring vibes and winter is on its way i know i'm talking a ton in this one i hope you guys like the chit chat style but i'm gonna let you listen to some music for a while while i scrub these grates with an electric brush and dawn power wash on them If there is a product everyone should have in their house, it is Dawn Power Wash. Oh my gosh, I use it around my entire house, you guys. Again, that's what's soaking on those grates, but now I'm going to add in a little bit of white distilled vinegar. I also use this around my house. I just water it down, and I'm going to do one more scrub really quick, but I'm going to let these soak with a mixture of the Power Wash water and vinegar, and it's going to make it next level. If you are new here, then you don't know this, but I shared a ton of videos. I used on Power Wash to clean showers and tubs like once a week. It honestly, it makes it so easy just spraying it everywhere and then wiping it off. And then I'll use the harsher products now um, in just like certain areas that really need it. So highly recommend that if you haven't tried it. These rings are going to be looking brand new by the end of this video. And one thing I should have mentioned earlier is when I am doing these deep cleaning, spring cleaning sessions, I am trying to just pick like one really time consuming, really tedious project to tackle. And today it is these stove grates. I wouldn't say this is tedious, but it's definitely time consuming when you want to get it done super, super well. It does take scrubbing and waiting and soaking and, you know, repeating, but by the end of it, they look so good good so it was very worth it i'm going to show you a quick before of this stove top as well as you can see this really needed some tlc and in a regular clean with me i don't scrub the grates just because i don't have time so that's why today with our spring cleaning we are going that extra step
We are going to let these grades soak a little bit longer and move on to our next project. I'm going to be using the ginger jar cleaning cloth for this one. Look at this print. Gosh, it is just stunning. I love that one. And we're going to scrub these baseboards. I'm just going to start with the downstairs back area baseboards today. And I try and wipe them with a dusting cloth like every few months, but I scrub them maybe twice a year. I definitely do not have time to do this as much as I'd like to. And I really feel like that's fine. You know, this is one of those projects that... It's just hard to fit into your schedule. It's not that tedious, it's not that hard, it's not that time consuming, but man oh man, we all have never ending lists. And that's why this is definitely a seasonal spring thing for me. Um, I was finding so much more than I realized though, like scrubbing doors, gosh, scrubbing doors, I just sigh <laughs> looking at them and seeing all the marks, but that's life with little kids and toys and it just, you know, it's all right. It is what it is. So I'm going, I'm going to scrub anything and everything that I see. And let me tell you, this works so well with this cloth. It got so much off that I honestly thought just was not going to come off. And again, I really focused on this back area. So I'm going to do the stairs. I'm going to do all of the doors, the back door, the playroom door, bathroom door, the closet door, storage door and the sides of the baseboards the size side of the wood going all the way up the stairs I could see the scuffs on every step and it has been driving me crazy for a long time so I was really really happy to check this off of my spring cleaning list And we are almost done with the baseboard scrubbing. Look at this cleaning cloth though. Guys, this is just from a small area of my house. So if you need to do this too, I'm not pointing at you, but girl, I'm giving you a little nudge on the shoulder to get it done. You'll be so, so glad that you did. Just working my way up the final stairs here. And then I'm gonna give you a little update on those gold rings before we head back outside. And I was so shocked. This is just water and vinegar. Look at that. Obviously still a ton of stains, but the gold is so much more shiny and prominent and you can see an end in sight. So I'm gonna scrub them a little bit with my electric scrubbing brush. And I just realized I can start to link these products on the video. So I will link this scrub brush on the video on the bottom for you guys. It is about $20. I use it for scrubbing grout like literally once a week. I've had it for so long, like a year at least. I really, really recommend it adding a little fresh vinegar for those rings. Since I saw so much progress, I was like, girl, let's go. Let's keep it moving to see how much better it can get. And now I'm back outside. I wanted to do this earlier, but it was just so, so bright and hard to film. So I am going to sweep off this entire porch, get it all ready to sit out here and enjoy it in the springtime. And guys, I hope you're enjoying like a little bit more slower, relaxed pace for the spring cleaning and decorating. Again, this is just the first first one and just getting started with all of the projects. So let me know if you like the slower paced or if you like the extreme, no right or wrong answer. I just want to know what you prefer. The 
the outside is looking so good with our new pillows all nice and clean. I just wanted to give you one last update on these rings and on this little stove area. I continued to soak them for the rest of the day and by the end they were like sparkling and looking so so much better but essentially with this phase of life that I'm in I feel like I'm just working on so many different things. I have to do a little bit of everything regularly just to feel like my head is above water so I'm gonna use a little pink stuff as like a final scrub on these and to make them as good as new as I could possibly get but for my next spring cleaning and decorating video we're gonna up it you guys we're gonna add even more decor add even more pinks I love to add a lot of pink in the spring so I hope you guys are ready for that but continuing with the blues as well thank you for hanging out and chatting with me and just getting things done let me know what else you guys would like to see on my channel I have a lot up my sleeve and I'll see you right here in a few days in a brand new video Bye.